So let's just hook it up. In order to set it up, all we have to do is just hook this up right here. So just connect it and then connect this to a power source. So once we hook it up, we should see some lights popping up as you guys may see right now. That's perfect. Then what we have to do is get our tablet or iPhone, Android, anything uh, and download the Google Home app. If you guys haven't downloaded Google Home app, download it right now. It's free. And that's what we need to do in order to set this up. So this will exactly tell us that right now. Hi, to get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. So although you downloaded the app already, that's not what we need to enter into right now. What we have to go is into your phone or tablet and look for Wi-Fi networks. What I'm going to do is show you on my iPad, for example. I'm going to go right into my settings. Under my settings, what I want to do is select the second option, Wi-Fi. And from here, I should see my Google Home. All right, so that's where we're looking. Google Home, just tap on it. And we have to connect to that Google Home. Once we connect it up to the Google Home, then we will go into our app and set it up from there. All right, so right now it's connected. So since it's connected, I'm gonna look for my Google Home app. I'm gonna just launch that up. So note that if your Google Home app was opened, make sure to close it up and then open it up again. And that way this will work. So let's just go into next. Right now it's gonna ask us for our address. It's gonna say up there. And from there, it's just gonna say connecting to Nest Mini. So that's exactly what we should see. We heard that noise and down here below, we're just gonna tap on yes. And at this point, I'm kind of regretting showing you guys this on my iPad. Should have just done on my iPhone, it would have fit better. But anyways, yes, I'm in. From here, we just have to select the regions. We're gonna scroll down, select whichever makes sense to you, press continue. Now it's gonna ask us, where do we want to place this device? Well, we can always change this up later on. So it's not a huge deal if you make a mistake right now, or if you move your Nest Mini somewhere else. We can always change any of our settings later on. Right now, what I'm gonna do is just put entryway and then down here below, once again, I'm gonna press next. It will ask us what network we would like to use for my Wi-Fi. So just make sure it's the one that makes sense to you. So we're gonna go ahead, pick tech and design. Once again, on the bottom, I'm gonna select yes, next, and then it's gonna connect to our Wi-Fi network. So this is basically the most important part about it because your Nest will not work without Wi-Fi. It's all about your Wi-Fi. So let's say your router restarts or you have no Wi-Fi. There's no way to play songs or ask Nest Mini anything. So you will not get that Google Assistance unless you have an active Wi-Fi network going on in your home. So at this point, it should say connected. You should go into another screen where it says, please connect to tech and design, which is perfect. So what we have to do is go back into our system. So we're gonna go back into our settings. So right here, our settings. We no longer need to be connected to Google Home. We're gonna go right into the same Wi-Fi network. We just connected that up. So we're gonna go into tech and design in this case. And from there, let's just go back into our Google Home app again. Right now we went back into our Google Home app. You should say connected. And here we go. We're basically done the setup. Right now it's just gonna run through a few things. So let's just go on and do that. So we're just gonna press next on the bottom right hand side. Once we do that, if you haven't activated your voice before with Google Assistant, right now it will ask you to do that. However, if you guys have done that from before with any Google Home device, then all you guys have to do is just press on a agree and it's gonna tell us this, agree to voice match, perfect. We're gonna do that. We're just gonna let it do its thing right now. So my Google Assistant already recognizes my voice and that's because I have Assistant set up already. So that's why I don't need to go through the process of setting that Assistant up at the moment. I do wanna mention that I do have a video of how to set this up freshly with Google Assistant for the first time. But anyways, that's really simple and we're just gonna click on I agree again. Right now you might get an ad saying that you have 14 days of YouTube premium. You can go ahead and do that, but I don't want it, so no thank you. So as mentioned as before, if you're brand new into this, then it might ask you for Spotify or anything else you guys want to add. I do like Spotify to be my default music player, but you guys can choose anything else. Right now, we're just gonna go into next. And it might tell you to link up some radio services if you would like to. 
so I don't so I'm just gonna go into not now because I don't want that it will also ask you to link up your Netflix or Disney Plus if you guys have that and if you want to don't really need to but uh, in this case I already have my Netflix synced up I can just press on the plus sign if I want to sync up anything else at this point I'm just gonna go into next and from here it's gonna tell me to get started with voice calls which is pretty cool so I'm gonna go into continue now at this point you should see your phone number or it's gonna ask you for your phone number so make sure that to sync that up anyways we're gonna press on continue so the next screen will ask you about subscriptions you guys can just press not now or subscribe and then it's gonna take us here so we can just go into next it's gonna show you about the controls it's just gonna let us know that we can tap right here on the side to just make our volume go up or make it go down by tapping on this side actually it's the opposite that I just said anyways <laughs> right now this is to make it go lower and then this to make it go higher you can go next now yeah you can push the middle to make it play or stop so you guys could do that make play or pause the music you guys can always tap obviously this is voice activated so you guys can always say you can always tell Google to just stop and it's gonna stop or to lower or to put up the volume so you don't really have to physically touch your Nest Mini but you do have those options and that's nice to have just in case at this point we're gonna go into next like I mentioned you guys can change up the volume but again we can always just talk to our Google Home and tell it to put up the volume or turn it down we're gonna go into next so right now it should tell you that it's ready to go continue on Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. And right now we're just gonna go into view more, finish, and we're done. So right now I can see that right here. So in your case, you might not see all of this because I have quite a few gadgets. So that's why I see them here. I do have a basement, bedroom, entryway, front yard, living room, and then I have a bunch of stuff. But that's in my case because I have a lot of gadgets. You guys might just have the one device or this could be your second one. Anyways, right now we're done with the setup. We can just tell Google to do anything. You can tell us the weather. So, hey Google, how's the weather today? Today in Hamilton, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of zero and a low of minus five. So it's gonna right be... now it's minus one degree and mostly cloudy. So it's going to be pretty cold today, but... Anyways, that's how you guys can get started. If you guys would like more specific things into your Nest Mini, make sure to check out my other videos. And if you're having any problems, problem shooting this, I do have, again, other videos on my channel to show you that. For now, we are all done with our Nest Mini. Hopefully you guys have fun with it. It's really cool. It's not the best thing that Google has created. There's a lot of glitches software-wise, so if this stops working for any reason, usually just resetting it back to factory settings will fix the problem if the problem doesn't go away. Such as Spotify not linking for some reason, or even when it keeps disconnecting from your Wi-Fi network, that's also a problem that happens, and by factory resetting, usually does fix up the problem. And remember, you do have a year warranty, so you guys can always contact Google and exchange this for one that's actually working. By the way, if Google tells you that they're gonna send up an update and you wait and wait for it, and it's been a few months already, <laughs> I would actually tell them right away, no, send me a good one, and then you guys can go throughout the exchange process, which, again, I have a separate video showing how to do that. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area, and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.